This is the notorious Ukrainian website Mirot Ferets, meaning peacemaker. It publishes the names and addresses of those it deems to be enemies of Ukraine. The opening page shows pictures of dead Russian soldiers. On the list are domestic and foreign journalists, politicians and citizens that in some way they view to have aided or worked with pro-Russian forces in the country. Now, shamefully, they are adding children to the list. This is Faina Sevenkova. She is 13 years old and has been writing about her experiences here in Donbass. After her name appeared on the list, she started to receive threats of physical violence online. Are you worried about being on the website? Are you concerned that something might happen to you? Yes, of course. A person I knew got to know my address and came to greet me for my birthday. These are good intentions, but something worse can happen. Websites like this shouldn't exist. They're illegal. They put many people in danger, children as well. I have a friend who was put on there because she wrote a poem about war. Numerous journalists and public figures have been murdered after being put on the list, like Olaz Bazina, who was shot near his home in Kiev, and Andrea Rocelli, an Italian journalist. After he was killed on the front line, the website posted liquidated over his photo. The Committee to Protect Journalists has previously written to the Ukrainian government asking them to condemn the unfounded and damaging allegations published on Miro Tervets and to clarify publicly that the Ukrainian Interior Ministry is dedicated to protecting journalists. The United Nations and Human Rights Watch have also condemned the site. This is Yanis Bitkonen, a Finnish journalist in Donbass. He's also on the list. It's all against all international laws and you shouldn't have right, any country shouldn't have right to do that kind of uh, uh, like hunting list, kill lists of people and put it to the public, especially it's, it's a very brutal way how to, to, to cause people serious problems and many have lost their lives because of being on that list. The website clearly states it provides information for law enforcement authorities and special services. Ukrainian government ministers have praised the site and it is actively used by the authorities to track and detain enemies of the state. While Western media and governments try to whitewash the extremist or far-right neo-Nazi elements here in Ukraine calling it Russian propaganda for a website promoted, supported and used by the government that openly encourages violence towards children is a clear indication that Ukraine does have a serious problem with state-sponsored extremism. They're basically encouraging people to kill people on the list? Yeah, they basically, that's why I, I've been in since 2015, I certainly cannot fall to the Ukrainian hands because I am on that list with several pages even. So, so but but like, like, like the old saying is that the other one's terrorist is another other one's uh, freedom fighter. And uh, hopefully all uh, sense and tr truth and peace-loving people understand that all these people uh, in that list are heroes. To openly encourage violence towards children takes a special kind of evil, an evil that NATO countries, as they continue to pump Ukraine with money, weapons and political support, seem unwilling or incapable to challenge. Johnny Miller, Press TV, Donbass.